hello everyone in this video we are going to see how to send the whatsapp flow with envoy so i am going to my flow page and i create flow so in this case we are going to use with endpoint for the demonstration purpose i am going to click book an appointment so name is appointment flow i just choose that uh, other category i choose the book an appointment so once you select that you can able to see what are the other screen available so i just click create before go through this flow JSON, please go to the WhatsApp boilerplate recommendation and scroll down and see WhatsApp flows. Just click this one and after that you can see flow, actual flow. And make sure to watch this video, then only you will get understanding about how these flows work. So in this case you guys see, this is contains the four screens. So if I cover these screens, it takes lot of time. So I have explained everything about the flow JSON in this video. So I assume you have watched that one. So now what I am going to do is I am going to explore this flow JSON to set up as I want. Version and the data API version. Routing model. So routing model is object. In this object we are having the appointment. So this is the first screen ID. You can see this is the first screen ID appointment. Okay in the first screen ID array we are mentioning the second screen. So in the appointment screen, if we click continue, that will go to the detail screen. So in the detail screen, I am going to the detail screen. Okay. So after you press any button, that will go to the summary screen. Okay. So now I am going to the summary screen. So in the summary screen, you can see there is something called terms. And if I click the read more, that will go to the terms. So in this case, what I am going to do is, I am going to work with only one screen. Because this is same. So this is screens object. So this must contain this four screens. So I just hide this one first screen. I only want to work with the first screen that is called appointment. So this is the appointment screen. So I just run this one. I'm getting one error. You have not provided a terminal screen, which means so if you have any flow, you should have the one terminal screen. I just type terminal and I make this one as true right the only one screen so if you click the button that will go into terminate that will go into end so now I am going to run this one okay so now I am getting a different error so in the one click action next name okay scroll down so this is a footer footer mean this button right the before continue button so if anyone click the continue one click action will go into execute so what is inside the one click action so navigate so navigation means going from one screen to another screen. So navigate have one object that's called next. Okay, in the next we are mentioning type is a screen. Then next screen name we are going to navigate. So in this case, the next screen name is details. Okay, then we are mentioning about the payroll. That's fine. So in our case, we only have one screen. So this is can't be a navigate because we don't want, we, we don't have the detail screen now. We have deleted. So I am deleting this one. So, so again, this is not navigation anymore. This is called complete. So complete means, so once user press the continue button, we are going to complete this action. And I think we can put like insert of continue, so we can say like finish or done. I think done is a good word. So payload. So in the payload, like department, location, date and time. So now I am going to run this one. So now our flow JSON is working fine. So now we need to understand one thing guys. We have four drop down. So this is not necessary because we only want to cover true drop down because then only you can able to understand like once you suppress the department then that specific department location will be available here i just scroll down after the location enable this is date and this is his date enable this is time and this is time enable so i'm i'm going to select this one and i delete this one so now i run this one okay I'm getting there because in the bottom right in the folder you can see date and location we are getting the date and location I am going to delete this one okay and delete here and again another thing guys right in the form we have first drop down for department second drop down for location and third we know need that is for the date and fourth also we know need this one this is for the time okay that's all I arrange this one now I am going to run this one. So now we have two drop downs. So once I select a department, then that specific department location will available here. 
so initially i need to disable this one so if you scroll up here you can see this is for department okay then this is for location right so i just minimize this one okay after that you can see is location enabled so dynamically i need to pass this one as false then only initially user can't able to select this one but once the user select this department then only i want to make this one as true that kind of logic can be handled by our flow endpoint so now we have set up our flow json as per our need so i'm going to save this one so in the editor we are getting something called this flow will be using data from your endpoint we are going to give an endpoint right as of now we haven't provided anything so you guys see now there's one thing called setup i just click this one so we need to set up an endpoint so already we have added a mobile number third one is a sign in public key so those who don't know about this sign in public key there's a documentation in step 7 so if you follow this one then sign in public key become enabled right you can see it's ticked so set up the endpoint so now i am going to my boilerplate opening the terminal and here i am going to type ls and sudo npm run dev my pc have some configuration that's why i type sudo in your case you can type npm run dev it will work okay so now i am getting server is running on port number 5001 so i am going to switch this terminal so i am going to the servio.net and here i need to copy this one and come back to our boilerplate and paste this one and make sure here you need to put your running port number in our case this is 5001 i just hit enter so it is providing a url so i am going to click this url server running on port 5001 which means this is working so i copy this one set up endpoint i paste it here and make sure to put a slash flow if you're working with our boilerplate you should have to put a slash flow we are handling each and every logic in one file and i just submit this one so after i submit this one right so i'm going to expand it right so i just yeah so now you guys see i'm going to the next okay i have already added a phone number i'm going to the next i have already set up the sign public key in the next i'm going to choose the app so i'm going to choose my app so after that i just click submit after i submit the application i just click next and you can see health check so what will going to happen is so if you press the health check i'm going to the boilerplate and expand the controllers and click the flow handlers in the flow handlers you can able to see in the line number 16 and 22 if i hit run check so that will come to this point and return the active as a status right so just check run check so this is a sending a request and uh, saying health check request successful if you go to here you can see we are decrypting the request so request come with like version 3.0 action is ping so they are pinging from this end and as a response we are providing active so which means this is a valid flow endpoint this encryption and decryption so as you know whatsapp is end-to-end -end encryption so if whatsapp sending any message to your application they encrypt it and send it so you should have to decrypt then only you can read what is in the message at the same time we need to send this data so we should have to encrypt this json to send it to here so encryption and decryption handled by our boilerplate you just want to write your business logic that's all so that's fine guys i just click done this logic got hit when we ran our health check if it contains any error that will emit here especially the data error so this is a place in the line number 38 you can see flow token equal to apple so this is a place we need to handle all of our business logic so i just keep it here and go to the flows and click send so i am typing my phone number and flow token right so here you guys see i have put apple so you can put whatever you want so i just put my name prasad and if you put flow token as prasad then you should have to keep the flow token here then you know okay this is a flow token for that specified flows so that will come here and what do you want to do the business logic send it so you guys see i received the message so this is in the draft mode so you can see this is in the draft mode so that's why i am getting this message so i am going to click this button so i just click start testing your flow it's loading right initially so in the first time we saw a progress bar that because of this initialization that's called init so in the log you guys see 
so in the decrypt request you can see flow token is prasad okay because we have sent flow token as prasad okay after that action is in it because someone is pressing in the first time right the action is in it then we should see this message what is this message in it for apple so why i am mentioning in it for apple like previously i keep that one as apple right so i actually in it for prasad I mean, you have to keep the flow token in the logs. Then only you can get. Okay, this is come to this point. Okay, then what we what I need to do? Like I need to handle the business logic. That's all. So initial screen screen response dot appointment. So if you click this one, this is a screen response. So this is contain the screen response. This is appointment. So version and screen. Uh, we have mentioned the appointment screen and the data. So here you can see in the data we are mentioning the department, right? So if you want, you can fetch these details in your database and show it here. That's all. After that, in the data, we are passing appointment dot data. So what is appointment dot data? This one, department and the location. And you can see is location enable false. This is a initial screen, and we are mentioning is location enable false. So what will going to happen is during the first initialization of this appointment screen, we are disabling this location. Because once user press the department only, then we are showing the location. Initially, we are making this one as false. Okay, so I am going to flow JSON and scroll down. You can see in the form, right? This is a form layout. This is the children, and children only contains one form, right? Type is a form. So you can see on select action. So what is on select action? So this is a drop down. So in the button contains the on click action. So likewise the drop down contains on select action. So inside the on, on select action name is data exchange on select action. So if anyone press this one, okay, I am going to press shopping or groceries. So this data will go to our endpoint with this action. So I am going here and scroll down and you can see action is data action. This action is this one here we are passing two values one is ticker another one is a department okay so in the department we are getting the selected department because you can see we are getting the selected department data exchange action we are writing a switch so in the switch we are mentioning screen what is the screen we are working on we are working on the appointment screen okay so in the appointment screen what i am doing is so i am creating one respective location because once you suppress the department then only i want to show the location i am keeping this one as empty initially so if the user press the department so what i am doing is i am passing the selected department in the get location so get location is a function so if we passing the department id that will give the respective location for that selected department so i am passing this one so i am getting this one as a location array once we get the selected department then respective location contains the that specified department's location so is location enable boolean we are passing data dot department department is selected then we are making this is location enable as true i am selecting this one then only it become visible i mean location become visible so now we know right i mean data dot department we know what is it then we are passing that respective location for that selected specified department. I am having two departments. You can see department 1 and department 2. So where I am getting this data, I am getting from this one, right? So two department, department 1 and department 2. I am going to select the department 2. Okay, I selected. Okay. After the selection, this is sending the data to our endpoint. See the log as well, right? respective departments location so if you click this location you can able see department 2's location 1 and location 2 there's some method called get location so in the get location we were selected the case 2 i mean department 2 so what is it in the department 2 department 2 location 1 department 2 location 2 so that's why we can able to see this one so now we have select the department and uh, location right the department tools location okay then only this button become visible right the done button become visible that because we have mentioned this required as true location also required then only this footer become visible if i click done this will send the data to our web group. so in this case we are considering about our flow send point so after i click the done you can able to see we have sent this one here we have mentioned on click action is a complete which means we need to complete this one while completing in the payload we need to send 
what is the selected department and the location so as of now this is in the drop food and we will send the request from here i'm going to the postman so i'm going to duplicate this send text message so i'm going to duplicate this one so i'm going to the boilerplate documentation and expand the whatsapp flow okay so here you can see flow json so this is a postman request for testing our flow right this is in the draft mode right anyhow i have mentioned test it so i come back here and control a and control v we no need to consider about this one right i mean type is a flow we already know right we have seen it previously action is a flow parameter is okay so action, flow action is apple so in this case flow action is prasad why we have mentioned i think this is come as capital prasad and after that flow id so flow id and the first screen right the first screen is what is our first screen so our first screen is appointment okay and the flow id so how we can get the flow id if you go to this one you can see this is flow id i copy this flow id and paste it this one okay now i have pasted it so again i am going to send this request i am getting the success response the new message as well so we are launching the boilerplate sooner and if you want this one please make sure to give your email and subscribe it and that's all guys if you like this video please go to my youtube channel and hit the subscribe button and thank you so much mm -hmm.